Welcome everyone, hello and welcome, this is Aya. Today I'm going to show you how to create an album page to create an article theme. And before we start that, make sure to like this video and for more crafty projects, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a journal or an album. This one is by Prima and it's called Prima, uh, sorry, not Prima, it's called Memory Hardware in a rectangle shape. This one is a craft album and its major is approximately seven by six and a quarter. And it has eight thick chipboard pages and I highly recommend it, very high quality. I'm going to link it down below in the description box or you can head over to my website and you'll find all the details. Next, we need papers. So we have this paper pad by Prima, and this is Tropez collection. Uh, it has 30 sheets of eight by eight. Uh, there are five sheets, uh, each of six double-sided uh, designed from uh, Tropez collection, and it's designed by amazing designer called Frank Garcia. This paper pad has a touch of French vintage style, and it suits my theme, the nautical theme, of course. Uh, so I chose my design paper to be cut and adhere to my album for easy measurement, you know, and cut you can use paper trimmer or simply you can use ruler and a scissor. Now let me show you some, some decorative element that we're going to use. Sometimes I use them all, sometimes not. So we have like burlap sheets, photo frame, shells, uh, wooden anchor, these are from Michael. Um, stickers some dyes that are like uh, fish dye or jellyfish or anything that represent really uh, the sea theme or nautical theme here i have some resin and of course when you buy the collection you will find some accessories that help you know show uh, this theme also i have sizzix dyes uh, these big dyes are absolutely amazing after trimming my paper size you know to fit the album i took acrylic paint uh, arc alchemy by fenobar uh, and the name is or the color is metallic uh, steampunk copper you know to cover the, the the bond area i don't know what's the right word for this area you know because this area will not be covered by the paper as it bends every time you know that you flip the album also i'm using a liquid glue and this glue is amazing by far it is the best it's called glossy accent it dries clear you know it gives you like seconds you know to move around the paper and make sure it is in the right position So now in page one, uh, I die cut a rectangle frame using a uh, perlap paper, or you can use anything like cardstock paper, felt, or even a fabric. Again, using glossy accent to, head, to adhere uh, the frame, and I'm gonna put it on the, on the left side. So on the right side, um, I added a shell trim. Then I took the scraps left from the trimming paper. I punched, you know, the edge using scallop punch by uh, Martha Stewart and you know if you don't have a punch maybe you can trace uh, or draw you know a, a, a wave uh, and just you know cut it and add it uh, as you see here I'm trying to use uh, you know between a glue gun and glossy accent and use a glue gun all the way because I don't want to have end up with you know with a bulky album because you know it dries really you know thick then added, you know, a pearl trim and wood veneer. These anchor, I really love them. They are from uh, Michael. Then I'm going to add uh, the boat. I have a ticket die cut and I adhered it uh, using uh, foam tape, you know, you know, to give me uh, some dimension. Now let's start on page two. So I cut a photo frame 
and this photo frame had like a notch edges so it's easy to attach to your picture without using you know a glue so I tried uh, some die cuts uh, to see where I'm going to place them either above or under you know my photo frame so in the end I glued like a, sea sh a seashell under my photo frame uh, and a, sh a shovel above it and added you know some sticker here and there Now let's go to page three. So again, I die cut uh, a photo frame and I put it on the left side. And on my right side, I took also the scraps, uh, you know, the papers that I have, and I punched the edges using a scalloped edge punch by Martha Stewart. Again, any punch you can use. Then the second paper or the second scrap, I will let it, you know, to be straight. The third one will be uh, upper lab paper. Then I glued, you know, a die cut called passport and uh, a wooden anchor. And I have two silk skeleton leaves and a blue uh, flowers. Again, you know, the sky really is the limit, you know, to create and decorate your page, whatever you have. Now let's go to page four. So I have this wide trim. And I die cut, uh, you know, a small rectangle also using perlap paper. And I tie, you know, a bow uh, using a silk a yellow uh, ribbon. And I'm going to glue in the center uh, a shell resin. Or you can just put, you know, any rhinestone. And I'm going to add, you know, in the corner also a die cut. It's, this is, uh, you know, a travel bag. Finally, page five. So I have a piece of paper and I'm going to fold it into half. Uh, so when you open when you open it, you will find two pictures inside. Uh, I distressed the edges using a vintage photo, then I glued using a glossy accent. And to decorate the cover, I added some uh, die cuts. And on the left side, I'm going to add again some, you know, uh, papers and ribbons. So here we go. We did together five pages. You just can do them and repeat them again, of course, using different colors and different texture. So let me know in the comment below if you had a trip to the beach. For me, I went to the Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea. So share with me, where did you go? Let me share with you quickly how I did the cover. So for the bond, I just covered it using a perlap uh, paper and added glue, you know, to the uh, to my cover, you know, front and back, you know, to attach ribbon to be the closure for my album. And this is optional, though. If you don't want, you can just keep your album, you know, open. Uh, for the front and the back of the cover, I used a fabric uh, jeans. This is like a sheet, uh, sorry, it's a paper pad and it has like 30 or 20 sheets of jeans. I'll try to link it down below. Uh, then as you see here, I'm trying uh, to arrange and imagining how things will be together. As you see me here, moving here, uh, moving, you know, my ribbons, my shells, trying put everything you know playing around where everything should be and sometimes I remove everything and I start all over again with a new you know decorative elements so finally when I feel that this is the look so I just take picture then I start to glue everything uh, 
you know to be sure you know taking steps uh you know taking slowly steps because if you glue them and you feel that it's not they don't look good so if you remove them you might you know ruin, uh, ruin your album uh, so as you see here using chipboard using stickers using you know resin also i distress you know uh, the fence because it was a uh, wi white bright and i used just vintage photo you know to mute everything uh down and of course i'm going to show you uh, the album from inside so um, I also I added some uh, word. This is a shrink film. You see words believe inspire a lot. These are shrink film. They are absolutely amazing biographics. I'm going to link a video uh, about the shrink film anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And now I'm going to leave you with the album. <laughs>